Welcome back for today's episode 10 of AI Practitioner Exam Bytes. The review question from our last episode asked us to identify the step in the ML pipeline which involves creating new features or transforming existing ones to help the model learn better. The correct answer is B, feature engineering, as this is the step where we create or transform features to improve the model's learning capacity. The other options are incorrect as they involve either initial collection and investigation of the data or basic cleaning up of the data. Today we're going to look at the exam objective, identify relevant AWS services and features for each stage of the ML pipeline. For example, SageMaker, Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler, Amazon SageMaker Feature Store, and Amazon SageMaker Model Monitor. This is closely related to the topic of our previous episode, where we talked about the stages of the ML pipeline at a high level. Now we're going to be taking it a step further by identifying relevant AWS services for each stage of that pipeline. Let's dive in. Starting with data collection, Amazon S3 is the go-to service. S3 is the service that you want to use for storing large amounts of data. This is a storage service offering scalability, high availability, security and performance. Another benefit is it natively integrates with many other AWS services, particularly Amazon SageMaker. Moving on to exploratory data analysis and data pre-processing, we have Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler. This tool has built-in analysis that can help you generate visualizations and data analyses in a few clicks without needing to write any code. You do also have the option to customize analyses using your own code. Data Wrangler can also do transformations to your data to both clean it up and featureize the data, making it a bit of a one-stop shop for everything data related, including the feature engineering process. Once your data is prepared, you probably want to store this data in a consistent way. That's what Amazon SageMaker Feature Store does. When we're using the term feature, we're referring to a particular attribute of our data set. Going back to a previous example that we used of predicting house prices, our training data might consist of the location, size, and number of bedrooms of each house. These are the data attributes we believe are influential in predicting the house price. So these are called features. If you imagine this data in a spreadsheet, each column would represent a different feature, location, size, bedrooms, and each row would represent a different house. Think of, of Amazon SageMaker Feature Store like a special database specifically to store prepared data ready for use in machine learning. Okay, we have now have our data and we're ready to commence training. To do this, we'll use Amazon SageMaker, our Swiss army knife of machine learning. And this offers various inbuilt algorithms and support for custom models. As we discussed before, SageMaker takes care of managing the underlying infrastructure and algorithms for us so we can focus on training our model rather than managing the supporting infrastructure. During the training process, we can even get help tuning hyperparameters using Amazon SageMaker automatic model tuning. This helps us find the best hyperparameter values to give us an optimal model. After training is concluded, we can use the metrics output from SageMaker to evaluate the model combined with our own testing. Then to deploy the model, we can use Amazon SageMaker endpoints. This allows users to invoke inferencing against our model using just an API call. And finally, Amazon SageMaker Model Monitor. 
can be used to help us with our monitoring stage. And this can detect concept drift, where the relationship between input data and the output you're trying to predict starts to change, which is a common occurrence given that real world data is constantly evolving. And it can also help detect data quality issues. So as you can hopefully see, Amazon SageMaker is a powerhouse that spans across multiple stages of the ML pipeline. It's like the backbone of AWS's machine learning offerings. Let's do a quick review question to wrap things up. A data scientist is building an ML pipeline to predict customer churn for an e-commerce platform. Match the following AWS services to their most appropriate stage in the ML pipeline. So that wraps up our tour of AWS services for the ML pipeline. See you in our next video.